renowned for her roles in Maud and Good Times, Esther Roll won over audiences with her warm and graceful presence. This actress, who became one of the most recognized and cherished figures of her time, faced significant challenges throughout her life. Behind the scenes, she grappled with issues like racism, sexism, health problems including diabetes, and personal losses. Despite these hardships, Roll embodied resilience and determination. Her legacy continues to inspire fans worldwide. Let's delve into the story of this exceptional woman, whose indomitable spirit left a lasting impact on both stage and screen. Esther Roll, born on November 8, 1920, in Alabama, Florida, was the tenth of 18 siblings in a family with quite the story. Her father, a vegetable farmer, possessed a unique gift for storytelling. He frequently entertained his children with engaging tales, igniting a spark in young Esther and her older brothers and sisters. This inspiration led them to establish their own drama troupe. The Roll family home buzzed with creativity and passion, fostering an environment where artistic expression flourished. Drawing from their father's natural flair for narration, the Roll children cultivated their talents under his watchful eye. In turn, these skills prepared them for future endeavors in the entertainment industry. Despite facing numerous challenges associated with being one of 19 children, Esther persevered, eventually becoming a prominent figure in television and film. She remained humble throughout her career, always crediting her success to her parents and large family. Indeed, it was through overcoming adversity and drawing upon familial bonds that Esther Roll found solace and strength, ultimately propelling herself into acting stardom. In her teenage years, Esther Roll moved to New York City to join her two older sisters who were pursuing careers in acting. At the time, Esther harbored aspirations of becoming a writer. One of her sisters, Estelle Evans, went on to appear in the iconic film To Kill a Mockingbird, while Rosanna Carter graced the screen as a judge and served as Esther's writing instructor. Recognizing Esther's innate talent for performing, her writing teacher encouraged her to explore drama classes as a means of refining her abilities. This marked the beginning of Esther's journey into the world of acting, which eventually led her to become a beloved figure in television and film. Her natural aptitude for the craft was nurtured through dedicated training, setting the stage for her successful career in entertainment. After deciding to pursue a career in the arts, Esther Roll set her sights on acting. She knew that she needed formal training to hone her skills, so she enrolled at the prestigious Yale School of Drama in the 1940s. Following her time at Yale, the actress continued her education at the Actor Studio in New York City. These institutions provided her with the tools and techniques necessary to succeed in the competitive world of theater. Although Esther eventually found her calling in acting, she actually started her performing career as a dancer. For the next 12 years, she traveled with the Diora dance troupe, perfecting her craft and becoming a respected figure in the dance community. Her natural talent and dedication earned her recognition and admiration from her peers. Eventually, Esther decided to broaden her horizons and explore new opportunities. She joined the Calypso Carousel, where she could continue to showcase her dancing abilities while also developing her singing and acting skills. This move allowed her to further establish herself as a versatile and dynamic performer. Throughout her career, Esther remained committed to perfecting her art. Whether she was on stage, screen, or television, she brought a unique energy and passion to every performance. Her contributions to the entertainment industry will forever be remembered and appreciated by audiences and colleagues alike. In 1955, Esther Roll, then an up-and-coming actress, decided to take a break from her blossoming career to focus on her personal life. She settled down and entered into matrimony with a man who worked as a presser at a local dry cleaner. Embracing her new role with enthusiasm, she eagerly took on the responsibilities of being a homemaker. One can easily imagine how Esther must have thrown herself into mastering the art of creating delectable dishes for her husband. Her love for cooking became apparent through the mouth-watering meals she prepared daily, much to the delight of her lucky spouse. However, despite their initial happiness together, the couple eventually parted ways after just five short years of marriage. Once again, Esther found herself back in the single scene, ready to move forward with her life and return to acting. In the late stages of her career, Esther Roll experienced an unexpected change. She gained weight. This transformation moved her away from her previous lean dancer's physique, leading to new possibilities in the entertainment industry. The actress, who was already recognized for her remarkable talent, found herself presented with fresh opportunities due to this shift in her appearance. She later shared that the stereotypical image of a black woman often involved being overweight, 
which unfortunately played in her favor during this period. As her size increased, so did the range of roles available to her. Esteemed productions such as Good Times were among those that benefited from her powerful presence. Her ability to embrace and adapt to these changes ultimately contributed to broadening perceptions surrounding black women in media. In the 1960s, esteemed actress Esther Roll made her mark as a founding member of the Negro Ensemble Company. Through her unwavering dedication and remarkable talent, she quickly rose to prominence within the ensemble, securing roles in various productions. Among these were numerous Broadway appearances, one of which included the critically acclaimed play Blues. However, it wasn't until 1972 that the actress truly became a household name. That year, she landed the career-defining role of Florida Evans in the groundbreaking television series Maud, ultimately leading to her own spin-off titled Good Times two years later. This classic sitcom brought laughter into countless homes across America throughout its six-season run, while addressing significant social issues prevalent during that time. In the early 1970s, producers for a new CBS sitcom, a spin-off of All in the Family, required an actress to portray an African-American housekeeper in a progressive white home. They sought someone capable of conveying the compassion and tenacity of a seasoned woman. Esther Roll, a gifted actress, proved to be the ideal candidate for the role of Florida Evans on Maud. This classic series rapidly gained popularity among viewers, making Florida Evans a beloved character. The actress Esther Roll brought depth and authenticity to the role of Florida Evans, a character initially introduced on Maud before spinning off into her own program, Good Times. Roll's ability to convey both strength and vulnerability resonated with audiences seeking representation that reflected their own experiences. Her exceptional performance solidified her place in television history. As production began for Maud, casting directors searched for an actress capable of exuding warmth and fortitude. With Esther Roll's extensive background in theater and previous TV appearances, she emerged as the frontrunner. She embodied the essence of Florida Evans, a hardworking, loving mother determined to maintain stability amidst adversity. Viewers embraced Roll's genuine approach to the character, which ultimately led to her iconic status. Before landing the groundbreaking role of Florida Evans, Esther Roll already boasted impressive credentials. Born in Florida, she pursued acting after high school and eventually studied at the prestigious Juilliard School. Following her education, she performed in various stage productions, honing her craft further. Over time, Roll ventured into television roles, including guest spots on popular shows like The Mod Squad and Room 222. These opportunities paved the way for her eventual success as Florida Evans, when offered the opportunity to audition for Maude, Esther Roll recognized its potential significance. As one of the few substantial roles available for African-American women during that era, it represented a rare chance to make a lasting impact. Roll seized the moment, delivering a captivating audition that left little doubt regarding her suitability for the part. Upon being cast as Florida Evans, she understood the weight of responsibility associated with accurately representing the lives of countless black domestic workers across America. Throughout her career, Esther Roll consistently demonstrated her commitment to sharing compelling stories through her artistry. From her early days on Broadway to her memorable stint on Maud, Roll never shied away from tackling complex issues related to race, gender, and socioeconomics. By choosing to embrace challenging parts rather than settling for stereotypical depictions, she advanced the cause of equal representation in media. Today, her legacy continues to inspire aspiring actors hoping to follow in her footsteps. Esther Roll gained popularity through her portrayal of the character Florida Evans in the TV show All in the Family. At first, she appeared as a guest star, playing the role of Archie Bunker's cousin. However, due to her excellent performance and the audience's positive reception, she became a regular cast member. Florida Evans stood out as a stabilizing force among the show's outrageous humor. With her nuanced acting style, Esther brought depth and warmth to the character, making it easy for viewers to fall in love with her. Her interactions with other characters were frequently filled with clever dialogue and sharp wit, particularly during conversations with more liberal, yet somewhat clueless family members. The contrast between Florida Evans and some of the other characters helped highlight their differences, while also allowing for unique learning experiences throughout the series. Through the lens of comedy, the actress explored themes like racial prejudice, gender roles, social class, and political ideologies. In doing so, Esther Roll left a lasting impact on television audiences, 
paving the way for future representation of African-American women on screen. In 1974, the actress Esther Roll became a household name when she took on the role of Florida Evans in the television series Maud. Her portrayal was met with critical acclaim and popularity among viewers. As a result, producers created a spin-off series based solely around her character, leading to the premiere of Good Times Later that same year. This groundbreaking show marked several milestones in TV history. Notably, it became the first African-American sitcom ever produced, paving the way for future shows featuring predominantly black casts. Moreover, its success resonated deeply within the black community, making it a cultural touchstone for many families during the 1970s. As the matriarch of the Evans family, Roll brought warmth, humor, and authenticity to her performance. Audiences were drawn to her strength and resilience amidst challenging circumstances. Through her character, Roll explored themes related to poverty, racism, and social inequality, while maintaining a positive outlook, something that undoubtedly contributed to the show's widespread appeal. The impact of Good Times extends far beyond its initial run. Even today, fans continue to celebrate the program and recognize Roll's contribution to American television. Her unforgettable portrayal left an indelible mark on both pop culture and the hearts of those who tuned in each week. Indeed, the legacy of Esther Roll lives on through her work and the countless individuals who found solace, laughter, and inspiration in her performances. Esther Roll had mixed feelings when she first joined the cast of the sitcom Good Times. On one hand, she was excited to be part of a show that tackled serious issues affecting African-American families. However, as the show went on, Roll grew increasingly troubled by how it depicted young black men. She feared that the producers were perpetuating harmful stereotypes and diminishing the dignity of her character. After much deliberation, Roll decided to leave the series following the end of its fifth season in 1977. In doing so, she expressed her disapproval to the showrunners, stating that she never agreed to take part in what she perceived to be a clown show. Despite facing backlash for her decision, Roll remained steadfast in her beliefs determined to advocate for more positive representation of marginalized communities in television. In 1990, actress Esther Roll opened up to People magazine about her decision to depart from the popular TV show Good Times. This came after her on-screen husband, John Amos, left the series the previous year. Roll had creative differences with the show's producers and was determined to take a stand for what she believed in. Despite the success of Good Times, the actress chose to prioritize her principles over fame. However, Roll did make a comeback to Good Times for the 1978-1979 season before moving on to other projects. Her departure marked a significant moment in television history, highlighting the importance of artistic integrity and the courage it takes to stand up for one's beliefs. Even though she was no longer part of the show, her impact continued to resonate with both fans and critics alike. In 1973, Esther Roll delivered a remarkable performance in the television special the Summer of My German Soldier. Her portrayal was so impressive that it earned her an Emmy Award for her work. This recognition solidified her status as a talented actress who could shine both on the small screen and the stage. Speaking of the stage, Roll had already made a name for herself in productions like Washington and Mrs. Hitz. She demonstrated her range and versatility by taking on various roles that allowed her to explore different aspects of her craft. But she didn't stop there. In 1989, Roll returned to one of her most iconic roles in a revival of A Raisin in the Sun, where she captivated audiences once again. As if that wasn't enough, Roll also graced the silver screen in the critically acclaimed film Driving Miss Daisy. Playing the character of Adela, the housekeeper opposite Morgan Freeman and Jessica Tandy, she brought depth and nuance to every scene. Despite being a supporting player, Roll left an indelible mark on the movie reminding everyone why she was considered one of the best actresses of her generation. Throughout her career, Esther Roll proved time, and time again that she was a force to be reckoned with in the entertainment industry. With each project, she continued to push boundaries and challenge herself as an artist. And even today, her contributions continue to resonate with fans and inspire future generations of actors and actresses alike. After initial reservations about taking on roles perceived as stereotypical, Actress Esther Roll gave a remarkable performance in the film Driving Miss Daisy. She played an African-American maid, a character she approached with dedication and professionalism. Her work in the movie resonated with audiences and critics alike. 
Later, in 1990, tragedy struck when Esther Roll was involved in a severe car accident while traveling through Nevada. This unfortunate event resulted in significant injuries, but true to her indomitable spirit, the actress made a swift recovery. Despite the setback, she remained actively engaged in various philanthropic pursuits. Throughout her career, Esther Roll championed numerous causes close to her heart. She devoted time and energy to advocating for women's rights and supporting urban education initiatives. These efforts led to her receiving multiple distinguished accolades, among them an MBACP Leadership Award and a human rights honor bestowed by the American Federation of Teachers. Such recognitions underscored her unwavering commitment to making a difference in people's lives. In the late 1970s, esteemed actress Esther Roll graced the small screen in an episode of the popular series The Incredible Hulk titled Behind the Will. She took on the role of a shrewd taxi cab business owner, demonstrating her versatility and adaptability as a performer. As the 1980s approached, Roll continued to make sporadic but memorable cameos on various TV shows throughout the decade. Fast forward to the 1990s, where Roll had a delightful surprise in store for her former mod co-star B. Arthur. During an appearance on RuPaul's video hit Parade, the two actresses shared a heartfelt moment, reuniting after many years apart. Their genuine warmth towards each other was palpable, reminding audiences of their undeniable chemistry during their time together on the iconic sitcom. One particular daytime talk show saw these two talented women share stories and reminisce fondly about their days working together. Despite the passage of time, they picked up right where they left off laughing and engaging in playful banter as if no time had passed at all. This brief encounter served as a testament to Roll's lasting impact on those around her, leaving an indelible mark wherever she went. After gaining fame for her iconic role as Florida Evans on the popular 1970s sitcom Maud and its spin-off show Good Times, actress Esther Roll found success in new ventures during the 1990s. She became known for appearing in a series of psychic hotline television commercials where her memorable catchphrase was tell them Esther sent you. In addition to these commercial appearances, the actress continued her thriving acting career throughout the decade. During this time, Esther Roll took on various roles in television movies, miniseries, and major films. Some notable projects included small parts in House of Cards, How to Make an American Quilt, and My Fellow American. However, it was her significant role as Sarah in the critically acclaimed 1997 movie Rosewood that truly showcased her talent and range as an actress. This powerful drama shed light on a dark period in America's past, allowing the actress to deliver a compelling performance worthy of recognition. Overall, Esther Roll remained a prominent figure in the entertainment industry well into the 1990s, leaving behind a lasting legacy through her diverse body of work. Esther Roll, the accomplished actress known for her roles in television and film, unfortunately passed away on November 17, 1998, in Culver City, California. Her death came just nine days after her 78th birthday and was caused by complications related to diabetes. Throughout her life, Esther Roll was a devout member of the African Methodist Episcopal Church. In keeping with her beliefs, she requested that her funeral be held at the Bethel African Methodist Episcopal Church. This decision reflected her deep commitment to her faith and community. Despite the many challenges she faced throughout her life, including discrimination and health issues, Esther Roll remained dedicated to her craft until the very end. She will always be remembered for her powerful performances and unforgettable contributions to the entertainment industry. The loss of Esther Roll was deeply felt by fans and colleagues alike, but through her work, she leaves behind a lasting legacy that continues to inspire and entertain audiences today. Her memory lives on in the countless memories she created and the joy she brought to people all over the world. Furthermore, after her passing, the actress was laid to rest in Westview Community Cemetery in Pompano Beach, Florida. This burial ground, established in 1952, served the black community during a period when laws and customs in Florida prevented white and black individuals from being buried in the same cemetery. Choosing this location reflected both the challenges of the time and the significance of community support. The cemetery became a place where families could honor their loved ones without facing the divisions that society imposed. It stands as a poignant reminder of the struggles and resilience of those who sought dignity in life and death. The decision to enter her remains there, highlights the importance of heritage and the bonds shared among the community. 
Furthermore, the actress left a lasting impression through her powerful performances and deep commitment to social justice. Throughout her career, she was a trailblazing figure, often portraying strong, dignified characters who spoke to the struggles of African Americans. Her role in the popular show, Good Times, showcased not just her talent, but also her dedication to representing black families with honesty and respect. Beyond her acting, she was an advocate for equality and used her platform to address important social issues. With her impressive acting and commitment to social justice causes, she will always be remembered as a trailblazing figure in the entertainment industry. Goodbye and rest in